Currently, we are in WordPress and we want to go into the header builder because we want to make changes here at the top to what we currently have here. For that, we need to go into the customizer. And there are many ways you can enter the world of the Bloxy theme customizer. The one you usually follow in the WordPress admin area is by going to appearance and select customize. And this opens the customizer for us. It will load the page. There's only one page. So we have a visual display here on the right. Change the header. I'll go here in the options on the sidebar, select header. And what we will do is first go and style out our menu. Currently, we do not like this very much. Click on the settings for the menu element. And there are many ways you can do that. Here on the left, you can select settings, or you can just click here on the menu within the builder at the bottom, or you can go to the top and select this little balloon and it will all bring you here. Let's start at the top level options. And we can select menu default, which is also the main menu, but you can put it on main menu. It's not going to make a difference. Top level options, general, these are styles. So that's the current one. I think if you go to type two, you will see now as I hover over it, there's a line that appears here. Type three gives us this background. That's also very popular. And then type four, these lines that I showed you is the one we want to use. So let's leave it on type four. We'll have to do some changes here. The items spacing, drag that out, and you see we add space between our menu links. Let's put that on around 55. And then the items height is 100%. What does this mean? 100% those lines that you see at the top will appear all the way to the top and the bottom. Reduce it to 50% and I'll type 50. Now when you hover over it, it looks far more presentable than that 100%. If we reduce the height of this main row, this will also reduce because it's 50%. And I'll show you soon how that's going to work. Click back on the arrow to get back to the menu elements. And we grab the social element here and drag it to the top right and drop it in the top row. Click on socials to get to the settings and you can here set up the socials that you need. We have Facebook and we have Twitter and Instagram, and you can move them around. If you want Twitter first, then Facebook. To configure them, you have to go to the social network accounts. Select your social network accounts, and it will just quickly jump over to the social network accounts, and you will see this is where you're going to add the details for all of them. You go down to Twitter. Twitter and you add your handle here. Where's Twitter over here? Same for Facebook and same for the Instagram. To go back to the settings of the social icons, just select the little bubble there next to it and it jumps right back here. To add one, you select here from the drop down. Let's say Behance, Behance now, and click on the plus and Behance will drop in there and the little logo will appear there. Let's add one more. What do I have here? Bam, 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 bam. Patreon. Oh, okay, who will want Patreon at the printer shop? But why not? And we add it, and it adds there at the top. Open links in new tab. Absolutely, yes, we want that. And then the icon size, you can increase it here. I like it smaller like this. And the icon spacing is also fine. Then the icons color is custom. I will change that, but you can click on official and then you will see the color will change to the official color of those icons. If you like that, you do that. We will select custom and now we go back to the top and select the tab that says design. Here we will change the colors out. So the default state, this is the color it's currently. We wanted this maroon. I will go to my creators and select the maroon code. Go back and then click here on default state, initial, and at the bottom, hashtag and a paste that. That's what I'll do, and that's how we get the color. It's a little bit strange here for me, but anyway. And then for the hover, I'm going to put it on white. And now you see, I've changed that settings. That's all good. We don't want transparent size, and we've set up the socials. The problem is all of these, 
look a little bit too far spaced. So we reduce the height of the top row and also the main row. I'll go to the top row, select it by clicking on top row. You can also select top row here. And then from the row minimum height, it's set to 50 pixels. I'll reduce that to 35 pixels and we reduce the height. Select main row. Minimum row height is 100. Let's put it on 80. And it looks far better than it did previously. Hover over the menu. We also need to change the color here for this menu. So we go and select the menu. You can click here, you can click here. And now we go to design. Default state, we select the default state and we paste our maroon code again. And then for the hover, I'm going to put it on white. Active, we will also leave on white. And the default state, I will put on the maroon just for good measure. Type there a hash and paste your code. Control V, Command V. Now, as I hover over it, you will see it looks like that. Eh, a little bit different. Scroll down and you will see there are so many more features that you can play around with here. A lot. This is really great to give you the full control over building out that header. In the end, whether it looks like this or it looks like this, the choice is yours. Let's also bring in that search icon. So we have a little bit of spacing here and nice alignment. I'll go to the top here in the side, click back and then the search, drag that and I'll add it here next to menu on the right. And change the color. I'll click on the search element, go to design, default state. Put a hash and a V, control V, command V, not a V. And then for the hover state, I'll put it on white, which is color eight as well. Now as I hover over it, you can see how it changes. Under general, you can also make the size a little bit bigger if you need that. And choose whether you want it to appear on the others or not. Once we've done this, hop over to mobile. So we click here on mobile. Things look a little bit different here. We have to style it out a little bit different. And we have a trigger here. As it looks here, I don't think I want to go for a menu at all on the mobile. It's just crowding everything. So where the trigger is, I will delete the trigger. And here in the off canvas area, I will also delete the mobile menu. Then we are only left with the logo, but you can see there's not enough space in my opinion. So I'll go and click on main row. And the minimum height here I will increase so it gives us a little bit more space like so. And now I think it looks much, much better. What we need to do in Brizzy is come here and add a little bit more space. Publish everything, which is save. Click on the X to exit. And then we click here at the top on Printco to take us to the front end. I can close this instance. And it's updated nicely. Our social icons here at the top. We have a search. We have our menu. About us takes us there. Let's go and hit function F12. In WordPress crash course, we went through this, but I think it's time I revisit this. To test how your site will look in responsive views, it's a really good idea to go into the inspector within your browser. To do that, you hit F12 on your keyboard. Usually, it's a function key. So F12 or function F12. Once it opens the inspector, look for this little icon or a similar icon that will give you the options for responsive viewing. Click on that. And here we go. And this is an iPhone SE. And you can see it looks all right. It looks good. If we go into iPad Air, this is how it looks on the iPad Air. Let's see on the iPad Mini. Mini is also OK. And you can go through the rest, Nest Hub. Yeah. So they look good. And once you're done here, you can simply detoggle this or you can leave it on and just click here on the X in the top right corner and close the inspector. And we are back to the front. This is our front end. Header is done. Next, let's do the footer. 